Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is Ficus Friday today, and I'm going to be working on this Two Little Leaf Ficus. It has been two years since I repotted it, did a severe root pruning. Today, we're going to find out what the root system looks like. Here is a close-up look at the tree. So I'm going to be repotting it today, sorting out the roots once again. Now the top of the tree is kind of a sad but interesting story. Here is a look at the top of the tree and you can see there's a lot of dieback. So what happened, I kept the tree in the basement for the first part of winter and it did fine. But then it started cooling down outside and cooling down in the basement too. And I noticed the leaves were starting to get a bit of a purplish brown tinge to them and I thought, okay, I better bring the tree back up into the plant room where it's a little warmer. So I did that and it didn't stop the tree from dying back. So pretty well all the branches died back and I thought, oh my goodness, am I going to lose the tree? And then slowly over the rest of the winter, it started shooting out new buds and now it's just shooting out new branches like crazy on it. It's just everywhere, it's just poofed out. So the tree had lots of stored energy from that cool period in the winter and it recovered very quickly. So on the top of the tree, I'll be removing all the dead branches and doing some branch selection also. At the present moment, the power is out in the entire city. It's been out for the whole morning. All I have is a solar powered fan going in the greenhouse here to circulate air. I've got the doors open and it's quite pleasant inside here. Today is one of the hottest days of the year so far. We're up to 31 degrees Celsius and high humidity and full sunshine. So it's, it's a hot day today. In the greenhouse here, I'm currently sitting at about 33, 34 degrees Celsius. But later in the afternoon when the sun hits the greenhouse, it'll get up to like 45, 46 degrees Celsius, no problem. So it's important to have that air circulation in here and keep the trees well watered. I've been bringing more and more tropical trees up from the basement. So I've got the ponytail palm out here. I've got my ficus elastica forest. My asparagus fern is up here. So I'm getting them used to the outdoors in the shade here. And then later on, I'll move them to the benches where they get more sunshine. In the poly house here, I've also brought some more plants up. One of my jade forests here. And over here, I've got my acacia and another jade forest. All my ficus and chiflera are starting to leaf out now. You see green leaves and shoots starting to appear all over them. So that's kind of nice. It's been a long, hot, dry spell. So I've gone from a thousand liters of water and I'm down to Oh, about 370, somewhere around there. So I have enough for, you know, three or four more days. If I run out of rainwater, well, I'll have to hook the hose up and uh, start using tap water. I haven't hooked up the misting system in the greenhouse here. And there's a couple of reasons I haven't. One is the amount of water it uses. So. This barrel here, which is a garbage can, that's where I have my sump pump. And it would drain that barrel in two days with the uh, misters just coming on for, um, I think, two minutes every hour in the midday and then every couple hours the rest of the evening. And then it would turn off at night. And it used a lot of water. I was going through so much rainwater that I was having, well, I did, I ran out of rainwater last year and I had to use tap water. The other reason is I have a lot of succulents now, succulent bonsai, like my Portulacaria Afro Forest, um, Crown of Thorns. What else do I have? Well, all my jades, my aloes over here. I have my desert rose forest, my baobab trees, my aloe, big aloe there, more jades. My crown of thorns here. So I have, oh, and my killer euphorbia, my Audrey here, my golden spoon or copper spoon um, plant. 
Yeah, so I have a lot of succulents in the greenhouse here and I would have to move those to the poly house and the poly house doesn't get as much light because this is a glass greenhouse and the poly house is kind of, well, it's got that milky plastic. I don't like keeping my succulents outdoors. They're fine on sunny days like this, but I try and keep them out of the rain. I try and control the watering. So when they do dry out, I water them with fertilizer, thoroughly soak them, and then I keep them out of the rain until they dry out once again. And that seems to work really well for succulent bonsai. So that's a couple of reasons why I haven't hooked the misting system up. Save water and so I can have succulents in the glass greenhouse here. And it actually makes more sense to keep the glass greenhouse for succulents in the summer because it's super hot in here, dry, and uh, you know, a perfect environment for trees like my Socotra Island planting. I just noticed here that the electric, <laughs> the electric fan is back on, so I guess the power is back on. I'm going to start work on my two little leaf ficus. I'm going to begin on the top of the tree pruning up the canopy and then I'll get it out of the pot and repot it. The last time I pruned this tree I removed a really thick trunk line there because I had three trunks coming from one spot. That didn't look good. So that, that is healing. It hasn't healed over yet but it, it's getting there. Just checking what branches are alive and what are dead. Let's see some of the dried up leaves back here. Okay, so I'm looking at this trunk line here now. Let's just begin the pruning. There is a sprout up top here, but I do have the option of being able to shorten that trunk line, which was fairly straight to this branch, and I will. So here I go. I'm going to prune off that whole top section here, just like that. So that puts a bit of movement into this trunk line and shortens it, making the tree more compact. Just pruning out a dead branch here, right there. And then I'm just following this trunk line out. There's a vertical shoot here I'll take off. I think I'll take this branch off the back here again, making this branch more compact. Just keeping, you can see there's a live shoot up here. I'm going to take the tip off here. I'm just going to keep one of these cascading branches and I think I'll keep the one out front and this one and get rid of the upright one. Like that. So that's kind of got this trunk line pruned up. Now, I'm going to follow this trunk line up. I think this part out the front is dead here, so I'll get rid of that. Like that. Nothing living on that. There's one off to the side here. I'll prune that one out. Just looking. If I can clean up more areas, maybe in here. It's getting very congested. Keep it clean between the two branches here, the tr two trunk lines. Like that. So I've really cleaned up the structure. Simplified it a lot, kind of you know, chose my branches. Now, I'm not so sure about this one. I'll get rid of the upright one. Keep my more horizontal branch in this case. That one may even have to go. It's kind of, yeah, well, it's going. Pointing straight out at the viewer. Get rid of some of these clusters of suckers, the base there where they were all coming out from, just to clean it up, trunk lines.
Okay. I am very happy with that. I think that gives lots of light to the branches so they can grow for the summer. Oh, there's a little sucker down at the base here I'll get rid of. Okay, I think it's repotting time. Before I do any repotting, I'm going to spray the tree with soap and water and clean up all my clippings and put them out on the compost heap. I've got my soap and water, 40 parts water to one part liquid dish soap, the kind you use for hand washing dishes. So I'll spray the tree down. Here I go. I made sure the spider wasn't on there. I don't know where the spider went. I'll have to watch the video. Maybe it got pruned. All right. Maybe the branch it was on got pruned off and it crawled away, but I don't see it anywhere in the area. So. Okay, so that's sprayed down with the soap and water. I'll leave that sit for a few minutes. And I may leave the rinsing off till the end of the day because I don't want the soil too wet when I go to repot it. It's easier to repot a tree when the soil's a bit drier. So I'll just let that soap sit on the tree for a while and proceed with the repotting. At the moment, the tree is in a brown oval pot. It's a good size pot for the tree to develop the tree, but it certainly doesn't do a whole lot for the tree. On ficus, these trunks, they'll eventually turn sort of a whitish gray color as the tree gets older. So something that would go with it, go with that whitish gray trunk would be better. I do have that cement colored pot of Sophie's. It's a high fired clay pot, but it's sort of a light gray color. I'm going to pull that out and see what that would look like with this tree. Here is two of Sophie's gray pots, an oval shaped one and a hexagonal shaped one with fancy feet. Let's see what it would look like with each pot. So if I put this in front, it's almost the same size as the old pot, maybe a little slimmer and a little deeper. Now yeah, I think that's too deep for this tree. This pot. Ah, it looks pretty good. That would be a nice size for this tree. Or I can just put it back in the same pot. Maybe once I get the root base out, get the root pruning done, I'll see how much of a, how much, or what size the roots are, and then maybe that'll determine what pot I put the tree in. It's time to get the tree out of the pot and see what the root system looks like. All right, here I go. I have my under tray here. I'll get the tree out of the pot. I just push up on the drainage holes here. And there it is. So I'll take away the pot, clean it up in case I'm using it again. I'm going to come in now with the root rake and begin raking out the roots. Oh wait, that's the wrong root rake. Hold on. This one. Moving that layer of moss first. Starting to reveal the roots, which is exciting to see how they developed after that last root pruning, which was very severe. If you want to watch that video, uh, I have a link to the playlist in the description below this video. And you can go back and watch the root pruning, the last session of root pruning on this tree, which was quite severe. One of those root prunings that you keep your fingers crossed and hope the tree survives. And it did, it survived really nicely. So lots of fine roots on the tree now. Um, after those, the last root pruning, a lot of the big chops, they've grown these clusters of fine roots off of the cut points, which is nice to get those, both that mixture of the nice, well-developed surface roots and then the fine feeder roots that feed them. And today I'll be doing further root pruning to continue to refine the root system on this tree. There's my drainage screens on the bottom here. I'll comb out the old soil from the bottom of the root base too. So a nice flat root base on the bottom and on the top it tapers nicely into the soil line. 
So the root system, this was one of the worst root systems I've ever seen on a ficus. And I've been taking it from a horrible root system to something that's becoming quite good. And that's one nice thing about, you know, continuously refining your roots is that eventually you get a good root system. But you have to, you have to work at it. And there is some risk involved. Okay, I think I'm ready to wash the root system. All right, into the bucket it goes. I'm getting my root rake now and just cleaning out the soil between the roots, cleaning that up. Last time I repotted it, I was out of soil and I had to use used bonsai soil. So today it will get new bonsai soil, which will be even better for the tree. Okay, that's looking good. Let's get it back on the bench and have a look at the roots and maybe do some root pruning. I'm taking a look at the root system now. So here I've got a fairly thick root that's fairly high up. I rotate it around. You can see I've removed some thick ones here in the past and it's healed over. So this was the front of the tree or it's the back. Yeah, either way looks good. This is, oh, I don't know. I think the backside is more interesting. If I raised it up, I could certainly have more interesting and a more detailed looking root system. Here's where I removed that big, this root used to come out and divide into a Y shape. I removed a huge, huge section off here. That's amazing how it's you know, healing and looking better. Amazing. Yeah, so this could definitely be the front of the tree. Certainly a good front. I could even reduce that apex back a bit. Well, let's uh, let's begin some root pruning here. I have a root here that kind of goes off on an angle. Now, can I redirect it? Maybe like that. I've got one that sticks up vertically here. I'll get rid of that. Checking out the roots here. They're not bad. They haven't grown like a whole lot in the last two years. Mostly they've kind of been recovering. I think this one needs correcting. You can see it comes out. Here's the radial direction of that root and it's cranked over to here and it's starting to converge with the root beside it. So I need to correct that radial direction. So I will prune it off here like that and can I go even further back I think so more like that so that corrects that radial direction of that root it'll grow in you know from here and I'll get a nice radial root coming off there instead of being pushed over on some funny angle this one's starting to get kind of fat and bulbous could definitely take the end off it and I will. Will I? It's kind of a bit horizontal that root. You know I should prune it off on an angle, get it going into the soil and I will. I'll use my other pruners. So I yeah I need to get it's too horizontal this root it needs to be on an angle into the soil so I'm going to come from above here and Prune it off at an angle. So here I go. About like that. It wasn't quite long enough to do the cut, my pruners. So I'll just finish it with the scissors here. Like that. That gets it. You know, new roots will grow from this tip down here. This will heal over eventually, like, you know, all these other cuts. And it will eventually flow into the soil quite nicely. This is a new root down here. I'm going to, that's hitting the 
the table first, so I need to prune it a bit shorter. Prune off some of these roots growing straight down on the bottom here. Just prune them shorter. You want to keep root hairs on the bottom of your tree, but you just don't want them developing into big, long, kind of major roots. But fine roots on the bottom is good. Now, I can equalize up some of the roots in the perimeter a bit. So I, I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of root pruning today. It's all sort of minor work. Well, I guess this one was fairly major, but I think that's about it. I, I think those roots are pruned up. I wonder if I should prune that one back even further, I think so. Just a little bit more. I think that's better. Okay, I, I think it's time to pick a pot and get the tree planted. I think the roots are looking quite nice. So I would say either side could be the front. So I'll put this in the water while I'm picking out a pot. I brought out a selection of pots that I thought might fit this tree. So let's start with the smallest pot back there. Too small, doesn't fit. Second smallest, eh, that's too small. If it was a little bit bigger, maybe. It's very, very shallow too. I don't think that's suitable. This one, well, that's a good possibility, that one. Let's see. This pot is a little small. It doesn't suit this long root base, so I'm going to discount that one. The other oval one by Sophie, that would work. It's just, I think it's a little thick. If it was half that lip height, it would be good for this tree. So I won't use that one. And there's the original pot, which is pretty good. It's, it's very good, in fact. Maybe a little big, voluminous, but... So I, I think it's going to be this pot here. It's a very shallow pot, glazed with a some kind of a green glaze. I think it'll be perfect. Let me see if there's any kind of a maker's stamp. I don't see any. It's a cool pot though. Yeah, very interesting pot. Looks like one that was handmade. Okay, well I, I think I'll put it in this pot. I can kind of mound the soil up a bit. Maybe expose the roots a little more. I think it'll be a good pot. I think this pot, the roots stayed too wet. There was just too much soil and it just stayed wet all the time. So I, I think this one, you know, it'll dry out daily, hopefully. And yeah, really increase the health of the tree. I'll add a base layer of soil to the bottom of the pot here. Just something for the roots to sit on. All right, I'll try the tree out in the pot now. Um, if this is the front of the tree, right now it's kind of tilting forward, which is good. If this is the front of the tree, then the tree's maybe leaning back a bit, so it would have to be sort of planted more of an angle towards this. So maybe I've got to decide which do I like as the front better. I think this side. I don't know why, but I do. So that's a pretty good planting angle there. And I'm very heavy on the roots on this side, so it's got a lot of negative space here, which looks good. So I think it opens up a bit of negative space having it offset in the pot like this. I can't move it back much further in the pot because then the roots will start getting too close to the edge. So my position in the pot is 
you know, pretty well here, or I could move it over a bit more, but I think here looks really good. I think it's a, a good place, and I think there's enough of the root system exposed that it'll look quite nice. I'll have to mound the soil up a little around the base of the tree. Now, could I... I think I need to get the tree a little more vertical, so I'll have to put a bit of soil under this side. So a little bit of soil under here. Not too much. Yeah, that looks about right there. Okay, I think I think that looks good. I'll start adding the rest of my soil now. I think this size pot is just perfect for the ficus. And I'll get that soil worked into the root system. And ficus really like this free draining soil with lots of air spaces for the roots to grow in and get oxygen, water. It's, yeah, ficus really like a porous soil. Okay, I'll work this in now. Just working it in around the roots, getting rid of any air spaces and just yeah, filling those are surrounding those roots with bonsai soil. Okay, I think that soil has worked in nicely around the roots. I think I've just got to kind of top it up. Now, this was the front of my tree here. So I'll just top the soil up, making it you know, a little mounded. You can always rake away the excess once the tree is growing well and the roots have reestablish themselves in the pot. So I always like to kind of put too much soil on and then rake it away later on in the summer. Okay, here I go with more soil. I'll just tamp that down, get rid of some of these big chunks and give the tree a water. All right, here I go with the water. You notice with the water in can, the perlite does not float up. So, I get a lot of comments that people say they don't use perlite because it floats. Well, that's usually because you're using a hose and not a watering can, which is all right, but I just don't have a problem with it because I'm using a watering can, not a hose. All right, so that is watered thoroughly. I'll let that sit for a little bit, and then we'll come back and clean the tree up and have a look at it. Here is a look at the tree, the present front. That could change. I'll rotate it around so you can see it from all angles. So here's the front coming around to the right hand side, coming around to the back, coming around to the left hand side. You can see where I removed a big, I don't know if it was a root or a branch, but it's healing over quite nicely. And coming back around to the front. So this, that's a big cut here that will eventually heal and look like this and then someday close in. Yeah, so that's the ficus repotted. I think this pot is much more suitable for the tree. And as I said, in the summer, once the roots have established themselves in the pot and the tree's growing with vigor, then I can rake away some of the surface soil and expose more of the root base. It's time now for today's update. Today's update is the lavender plant. I got this from Zinn, from the YouTube channel, Maybe Bonsai. It, uh, it got a lot of long shoots on it and they flowered. 
Now the flowers are starting to die away, so I'm going to prune it back, making it more of a compact tree once again. I'll start with the really long branches. So I'll prune them back to some good branch structure, so back to here, where there's some subdividing and branching happening there. I've got one that comes out and around here. I've got some branching here, which doesn't flow the greatest, so I think I'll prune it off down here, leaving it a little longer. I've got one coming out here that's quite long. Uh, I've got some good branching out here, so I'll prune it off here. And then I've got the apex of the tree, of the well, one of the main trees, comes out. I've got some good branching out here, so I'll prune the tip off. And I'll prune the tip off here. Like that. I have one growing up here. I've got some good branching here. I'll prune the tip off there. And then I have some good weeds in here. Pull those out. That's that scotch moss. grass seeds in here, some grass, quite a few weeds. That's better. I had the front of the tree marked here. Maybe I'll just take this off a little shorter. This one, I've got a lot of shoots here. I could take this whole top off and I will. So, Like that. I've got all these branches forming there. I might as well use them. I'll take a stub off here. So not much of the way of, you know, back budding on the trunk. I've got a branch here that sprouted new growth, but yeah, most of the energy has gone into growing new shoots from the base, creating sort of a clump style, which that's all right. I should probably prune these ones back a bit too, getting a little long. Okay, I think that's it. At least it's pruned back to a reasonable size. Hopefully it won't use up so much water now. It's hard to keep this watered enough. It really uses the water up. Okay, so I will give that a watering and then put it back on the bench. So here I go with the water. Here's a look at my lavender now. Yeah, interesting little plant. I think my two little leaf ficus is developing well. The root system's getting sorted out. The trunk's looking good. I've got some primary branches. So I'll just keep on developing it, see what we can turn it into in the future. That is all for this Ficus Friday. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.